everyone, it's Miss Liz. Welcome to Art Club. Uh, this is our virtual class, so uh, you'll have an easy time of pausing, rewinding, fast forwarding, so you can work on your project. We are going to make a beautiful sunflower using oil pastels. And if you register for this program at the library, you will have been uh, directed to go pick up a little packet that includes a piece of paper and some oil pastels, some tissue paper, some Q-tips, um, anything that you'll need to create this project. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is draw the sunflower with our yellow oil pastel. I've learned from trial and error when I was practicing that if I draw it out with the uh, black or the brown, it, it just kind of leaves a mess when you're trying to blend your colors. You can see from this one, the black just smeared right on there. So we're gonna save that black for the very end when we're done. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna draw a circle in the center. It can be big, it can be little. It all just depends on how much uh, sunflower you wanna see on your paper. So you're just gonna kinda draw your petals on here. If you, as you can see, this one goes off to the edge and that's just fine. And try to get like a little point on there. Sometimes when you're doing it, you miss your point and that's okay, we can add one on there. No sunflower is identical to another sunflower. No petals are identical. So just kind of let it flow right out of you. Then we'll add some in between. So our sunflower looks nice and full. Then we're going to add one more layer. And these are just little tiny pieces because they're going to be the petals that are in the very back so you're not really going to see the entire petal. Next we're going to uh, do our center where the sunflower seeds are and uh, I kind of would like to do like a little mixture of brown, orange, and yellow and I'm just going to kind of draw it out like this and then some orange. You can overlap. Got a little bit of darker orange. And a brown. I'm gonna try doing this one with not too much brown because I think when we start blending, it's really gonna show up nicely. But I'm gonna add just a little bit on top here. Getting the yellow on there looks like it's already starting to try to blend a little bit. So now for the blending, you can take uh, your tissue paper and you can try it that way. And you do have to give a little bit of pressure on there. And I'm just swiping it around. Sometimes it's easy to turn your paper That way you've got coverage. And I think I want a little bit more brown in there. It's a little 
dark around the edges. So I'm gonna put a little bit more orange. The nice thing about using these oil pastels is you can just keep layering so you get the color that you like. I think I'm gonna go with that for now. And we're gonna start coloring in our petals. So once you color them in, it is gonna be a little bit harder to figure out where your petal is. So maybe leave a little bit of white along the edge so we can come back later and outline it. You can press as hard as you like or as soft as you like, depending on what color you're going for. And I think when we're blending, we don't also have to fill it in completely because it's gonna be spread out onto the petal by blending. All right, so go ahead and start filling all that in. All right, so here is where I have it all filled in. As you can see, I don't have it completely solid. I do have some white in there and that's okay because we're gonna do some blending. So I wanna show you this one. This is another one that I did and uh, everything was blended in different ways. So some of these areas I, I did the blending with my tissue paper. Some of them I did with a Q-tip. So you can play around and try to figure out which way you like the best. Um, this one here, I blended it with a Q-tip and with uh, some baby oil in here. As you can tell, it looks a little bit um, shiny, it looks a little bit smoother, but um, using the uh, tissue paper also gives it a nicer textured look. I think with this one, we're gonna try to put our, our little orange in there after we blend and then re-blend again. So first let's try with your tissue paper. So kind of wad it up, get, get a big piece to, to, um, together and let's just start applying some pressure and blending in those petals. See how nice that looks? And it just pulls the color into those blank spots, those white spots. And that's exactly why we didn't need to have to fill it in completely. All right, I'm gonna show you with the Q-tip these petals here in between. You do have to apply a little bit of pressure so some of you are gonna like the tissue paper better and some of you are gonna like the Q-tip better. When working with the Q-tip, I think sometimes you'll realize, oh, I need a little bit more color. You can add that in. And then I'm gonna show you with the oil and the Q-tip for these little smaller petals that are the ones in the back. You do not have to apply, apply as much pressure, so that's a bonus with using that. It's a little bit wet here, so we're gonna let that dry so you can take a look but it does blend your colors and fill in those white spots pretty well. I'll do a couple more of these little triangles from the back. All right, 
So I'm going to pause here. You go ahead and keep blending in your sunflowers and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now I've taken my black uh, oil pastel and I'm very lightly outlining the petals. Still really wet right here. I was able to go over it with the oil pastel, but just do very gently. All right, so now is a good time to take a look. Do you have color where you want it? Do you want to change it up a little bit? I can see right here that I need a little bit more yellow, so I'm gonna add the yellow. And then I think I'm gonna use my Q-tip to blend that just because I don't want to get the black on there. So there's a couple spots I can add a little bit more. So go ahead, touch it up, and when I come back, we will do our background. All right, so I've decided I'm gonna leave mine just the way it is, and I'm going to start adding our blue background. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the darker blue, and I'm just gonna start coloring in between the petals and because I want to have it look similar to this where it's a little bit darker closer to our sunflower we're not going to go all the way to the edge we're just going to kind of almost scribble it around if you have uh, yellow outside of your black outline you can just kind of go over that Then, once you go all the way around with that darker color, we're gonna come in with the lighter blue and fill that in. It's okay every now and then to take a little bit of darker blue and put a little line through it, and we'll see how that looks when we start blending. So go ahead, start filling in your background. All right, so here is mine all filled in. I'm going to start blending it with my tissue paper. I'm gonna be a little bit careful when I go in between these petals. But once, once that happens, you can just go like this. It's gonna take some of that dark color, blend it in with the blue. get a little bit of blue on here let's try putting some yellow on there and see it covers it up might end up turning a little bit of green so we do need to be a little bit careful and I like that uh, sometimes on the outside if I outlined my petal in black but it wasn't quite on the outside of the yellow it's pulling a little bit of that yellow out into the blue and I kind of like that all right now I'm gonna show you on the, this part how to do the oil so this time I'm just gonna kind of see if there's too much on there rub it around the side get all that oil off so I don't have those soaking wet spots and I'm just gonna start pulling it out maybe you could do outline along the edge and just pull it out and once you're not so close to that petal you can kind of go back and forth add a little bit more 
oil. Careful around the petal. Pull it. I think using the oil is really fun and it gives it a different look. All right, so go ahead and blend in your background. You can do a combination of oil and tissue paper or just one or the other. All right, so here is our sunflower that we've created. I did end up uh, taking the black crayon and outlining the center there. We'd forgotten to do that earlier. Um, you, can, you can see I've got a very lightly these orange lines on our petals. But if you compare another one that I did earlier, they're pretty dark. So you're gonna like it one way or the other. So, some of you are gonna like it to be light and some dark. And that's what I like about art is everyone does something different. So let me show you, I brought some books with me today. Um, if you like to draw or like to use these oil pastels or you just like sunflowers, here's some reading suggestions. How to draw flowers. A sunflower's life cycle. Sunflower house. And how to draw flowers and trees. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I would love to see how your sunflowers turn out. So post them on Facebook, tag us, or if you can find our post advertising the art club, you can put it in the comments section. Have a great day, everyone. Mm -hmm.